Hey guys, um, today I'm just going to be doing a quick uh, PS Vita overview, kind of. Um, in my unboxing I showed a little bit of the system off to you guys. and uh, But now in this video I just kind of want to show you in like depth and in more detail uh, just like the parts and buttons of the system, uh, some of the specs, which I'm kind of going off of memory because I don't really have the specs with me right now. Um, so yeah. Um, so I'll start off by comparing it to my PSP for you. That's the case right now. All right. So here's the PSP. There's the Vita as a comparison. So you can see they're not that drastically different. Uh, you can definitely see some some uh, difference in where the buttons are positioned. You can see that the PS Vita face buttons are much smaller than the PSP face buttons. Uh, so yeah. Uh, a lot of people um, say that the Vita is really, really light. Um, it's actually not. Uh, I just don't believe what they're saying because this thing is not that light at all. It's, uh, it's quite a bit heavier than the PSP. It's got a good heft to it. Uh, it's not heavy, but it's just a lot hefty, uh, heftier than people say it is. Um, let me just set this up. So the system has a 5 inch OLED uh, touch screen. Um, the touch screen is very good, uh, better than the iPod Touch, because um, as you all know, or um, at least if you have an older iPod, the touch screen isn't that responsive. Um, I don't know if it's just because mine is old or the screen is like not working that great as it used to be when it was new, but um, it's, this is, I think that the Vita's touch screen is better. Um, so yeah, I know uh, comparisons here. Um, it also has, oops, the buttons have been moved up here. Drop it. I got a little scared there. Um, there's your power button, uh, your PS Vita um, tab right here, or I don't know what you want to call it. But I'll open that up. Yeah. There you go. That's where you put your games. And then my unboxing video is actually uh, wrong about this this thing right here. I don't really know. I'm sorry about that. I don't really know what this this tab is for right here. If you guys want to leave a comment down below, because I don't really know, so. But I'm guessing it's a port of some some kind. There are your volume buttons. Instead of being down here, they moved them up, which is was a good decision on Sony's part. Um, you got your USB dock and some stuff, and then your headphone um, jack. So, yeah, and then your triggers, which still feel kind of plasticky and weak, uh, which I don't really like. I just don't like the feeling of them. They just feel really cheap t compared to the rest of the system. So here are your face buttons here. They feel a little bit sturdier and less plasticky than the PSP. They have a little bit of a click to them. Um, your two analog sticks, which do not uh, click. But I'll show you there. They don't have much room to move them around. So you can see, they're kind of constrained. But they feel a lot better than the nub. The nub was just annoying, but these feel pretty good. Uh, you got your start and select buttons down here. Those have also been moved. And your PlayStation button, which basically serves as a home button. And then your D-pad, which is a lot better than the PSP's. D-pad is much sturdier, has a good click to it. Good for fighting games, because it, it kind of... It just like rotates freely like that, as you can see, it kind of just bounces and kind of moves wherever it wants, so, as opposed to each part being kind of separate. So yeah, then on the back you have your back touchpad, uh, which is identifiable, I guess, I don't know, by its, um, by the little squares and stuff, the uh, PS face button icons, and then your kind of grips, I don't really know what these are. And then your um, 
rear facing camera. Oh, and the front facing camera is right there. And then your speakers. So yeah, um, other than the five inch touch screen, it also has a four core, I think, ARM uh, CPU, and then a also uh, a four core uh, GPU. Um, it has 512 megabytes of system RAM, so that's more than what the PS3 has. It can do more multitasking, um, but it only has 100, no, 256 megabytes of uh, VRAM, and the PS3 uses 512 in, a, in comparison. So you'll probably get better graphics processing power and stuff like that on PS3, so you might get slightly better graphics or performance. Uh, but on the Vita, you can do much more multitasking and stuff like that, which kind of um, makes it more comparable to a tablet. Um, so yeah, I believe uh, the touch screen itself, or the, the display, um, it has a native re resolution of 540p, which is not HD, it's enhanced definition, but uh, because the screen is so small, it basically looks like HD anyways, so it's close enough. It looks very, very close to, to 720. Um, yeah, so pretty much said everything I wanted to say. Um, the back camera has a horrible uh, resolution, as does the front. Um, I think it's like 0 0.3 megapixels or something. Just really bad, really, really grainy. Um, but you don't really buy a PSV to take photos anyways. You use your camera. So, yeah, you get your PS Vita a little bit on there. So, yeah, um, thanks for watching. Um, here's your overview of the PS Vita. If you have more questions, uh, please feel free to comment, and I'll we'll get back to you within the next day or so. Um, so, yeah, be sure to look out for new unboxings, too. I'm getting a couple more games soon. Um, unit 13 I'm picking up and be sure to watch all my other PS Vita vids. Thanks. Peace.